Let's go over managing Azure storage accounts with PowerShell. To perform these tasks, you're going to need to make sure that you have the Azure RM module 4.4 or later installed. I'm currently running version 6.7 on my system. The first thing we need to do is to connect to Azure using Connect Azure RM account. On the sign in screen, sign in using your Azure credentials. You may be prompted for a password if this is your first time. Now let's take a look at what I have for storage accounts already by running get Azure RM storage account. You can see that I currently have two storage accounts. To manage storage accounts in this demo, we can either use an existing storage account or create a new one. First, let's take a look at what it would look like to use an existing account. I'm going to set my resource group variable to Azure demo and storage account name to existing storage MM1. Then I'm going to pass those variables to get Azure RM storage account and store it in a variable called storage account. One cool thing that I would like to show you is the resource group name is actually tab completable. However, I'm going to continue using my variable. Now I have that existing storage account available to run other commands against. Next, let's see what it looks like to create a new storage account. For this, I'm going to create a new resource group to put my new storage account in. If we run get Azure RM location and select location, this will give us a list of available locations to use for the new resource group. Since I'm on the East Coast, I'm going to use East US. And the name of my resource group is going to be Azure Demo 2. Now I'm going to run new Azure resource group and pass the group name and location. And we can see from the output that the resource group has been successfully created. Next, I'm going to set my storage account name to New Storage MM1. This name can only be numbers and lowercase letters. Now I need to choose a SKU name. A SKU name specifies what kind of redundant storage to use. And here are the available values for that parameter. I'm going to be using Standard LRS. Now let's go ahead and create the new storage account by passing all those values to the new Azure RM storage account command. Once that storage account is created, if we view the context property, this will show us the context information for the account, including the endpoint URLs and connection string. Now let's move on to managing a storage account. To manage an existing storage account, we can use the set Azure RM storage account command to set certain properties. Let's take a look at a couple of those properties. If you remember, when I created this storage account, I set the SKU name to standard LRS. Let's go ahead and change that to standard RAGRS. You'll notice that under the SKU name property, the value has been changed to standard RAGRS. Storage accounts can also have tags, which you can customize with names and values of your choosing. If I get the new storage account and select tags, you can see that it is currently empty. To create tags, we'll run set Azure RM storage account with the tag parameter and pass in a hash table of name value pairs. Just like it sounds, the name will be the name of the tag and the value will be the value stored in that tag. Now let's run that command to set the tags. If I get the tags for that storage account again, you can see the new values have been filled in. I can also run the same command to update the tags for this account. I'm going to add a zero to all the values, then rerun the command again. Let's get that tags property again, and we can see that we updated the values of the existing tags. Now let's move on to managing access keys. To view the existing access keys for this storage account, we're going to run get Azure RM storage account key. This will display the values for both key 1 and key 2. I'm going to run that command again and store value 0, which is key 1, into the old key variable. Next, I'm going to create a new key by running new Azure RM storage account key. And for the key name, I'm going to specify key 1. Now that the new key has been generated, let's store that key value into the new key variable and compare it to the old key. We can see that the old key, which starts with slash DNU, 
has been replaced with a new key starting with WHD. Finally, let's take a look at deleting a storage account. Deleting a storage account is as easy as running Remove Azure RM Storage Account. You will be prompted to confirm the deletion of the storage account and all of its contents unless you specify the force parameter. I'm also going to delete the resource group I created using Remove Azure Resource Group. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.